This video shows you how to create a plot programmatically with the MATLAB plotting functions at the command line or as part of a MATLAB program. To create plots interactively for one-off visualization, see the Creating a Basic Plot Interactively video. If you have some row or column vectors, such as these 50 elements of random data, and this smooth filtered version of it, you can create a basic plot of y with plot y. The window that appears, which is known as a figure, can either be closed or docked if you like the plot to remain visible. This plots the y data versus their index. To plot data against another quantity, such as time, in this case, t will equal 0 to 10 milliseconds in 50 steps. Use plot t, y. You can see the x-axis has now changed. You can annotate the plot with the title and X and Y labels. You can plot multiple lines at once by specifying multiple pairs of data. And you can add a legend. Note that each plotting command erases the previous plot. If you want to add to an existing plot, use the hold all command. To turn this off, use hold off. You can specify colors and marker types with an additional line specification parameter. We can look in the help for the plot command for more information about this. It includes line type, markers, and color. We will specify a dashed line with asterisk markers in red. Many more line properties can be changed. See the documentation for more information. We will now look at working with the plot axes. The axes limits auto scale by default with the plotting commands. You can find the current axes limits or set them manually with the axes command, which returns a vector containing the axes limits. We can set them using x min, x max, y min, and y max. We can add a grid and remove it. You can place multiple axes on one figure with the subplot command. Here, we will split the figure into a grid of two rows by one column and specify the next plot should go in the first position. You can then plot the data as before. Then we can repeat the subplot command specifying the second position. When working in the command window or editor, you can find other functions for plotting by clicking here. And browsing plot types or by searching. And finally, when it becomes appropriate to start working in the editor, you can start off from past statements entered in the command window.
This concludes the demonstration. Try these features in MATLAB now or watch one of the other videos.